everyone's in bed. I'm feeling highly anxious because <laughs> Mark's really not well. He's really not well this morning. I woke up and I said, are you all right? He's like, no, no, no. And I've been up, I've hardly slept. I got up at six. Terrible gripping stomach pains, terrible headache, sickness, being sick, diarrhea. <laughs> So, but it's so hard trying to work out whether it's his medication or could it be late poisoning from the oysters because I was just looking up and you can be poisoned 48 hours. People always think, oh, food poisoning would show up the same day. It doesn't. It can, it can be as long as 48 hours. We've had this before with him with oysters. I mean, he joked when he ate them. He went, oh, everyone prepare for me being near death. Now, the oysters were as fresh as fresh could be. There was nothing wrong with those oysters, but just oysters can be funny. We've had this before with him. But I feel so sorry for him because he's really, really unwell. And we had so much fun last night with um, whatever that game was called. Oh, my God, it was ours. But actually, I really enjoyed it. I genuinely enjoyed it. And he was so happy, and now I feel so sorry for him. Sorry for him, hashtag very worried. because he's increased his medication. I don't know if it's that. Oh well, I think I'll just leave the kids to be asleep for as long as they want to be asleep. Because I might not be getting out of bed today. Oh, and it's raining. It's vacation ever. Oh my God, I'm so worried about Mark. He's so ill. And the thing is I can't find my homeopathic remedy box, which I know is brilliant for poisoning if i can find that i know that we'll get him through it but the moment he's just on the loo the whole time kids are being so amazing look through there they haven't moaned once you know what they've done all day they've just sat and drawn patrick maddie and kiki i'm so blessed with those kids Every 15 minutes and every 15 minutes he like running to the loo um, and then I discovered that I had the homeopathic remedy here for poisoning by oysters and I gave him that and he's now been asleep for about an hour and a half hasn't been to the loo so I think he's through it oh god what a day so it's hours later sorry guys he was very very ill but what got you better? Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Come on, what got you better? Uh, well, a remedy. Homeopathic, Homeopathic remedy, remedy, which is brilliant for oyster poisoning. Oyster poisoning. Oyster poisoning. It's a specific. Very thing. specific oyster poisoning. Now I've, I've said that oysters were the freshest, most beautiful oysters, but just sometimes oysters can hit. And you've had this happen to you before, haven't you? I can't tell you how painful it was. So oh, how tell us how painful it was. It was so painful. So I was being sick in my mouth, and then I had to get Nadia out of bed so I could. Did yeah. the business. Okay. And then I oh, and, put, I and then I implemented every one of your labour moves. I was hanging on the radiator going. <laughs> but you went back to I, my let my actual there was butter butter? <laughs> butter and my nun. Oh and I don't have a nun. And, oh, I don't, and then I was squatting. <laughs> and, then I was, <laughs> and then I was squatting further <laughs> from the toilet to can we release myself? And then I was arching my back and then I was rocking from side to side and then I was going home. Um, so you're basically giving birth. Yes, to not a lot actually, which is what. All right, okay, that's before. enough. That's enough. You don't need to give us all you're of it. A waste of a fucking day. You weren't screaming. It's not a waste of a day. Not. You've rested. Oh. That's all. And I had a terrible headache, and then I kept like, imagining Michael Winner. Because oh, uh, Michael Winner. Well, tell why. Give some context. Michael Winner lost his legs and his life, really, essentially, because of a batch of oysters. Not even knew this. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then I had visions of being on the middle of the beach and I stopped to panic. Because you know when you feel really ill, you yeah. project yourself to an environment where you think, I couldn't be there now. No, no. Or you get back. No. And so that was going on a lot. So I get panicking. Yeah. Got and the thing is, he's only got one leg. That's what it looks like. You've just been left with the one leg. You've literally, it looks like you've got one leg. It's so funny. The Michael Winner effects. <laughs> it does actually, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, well, we're glad to have you back. Thank you the girls will be glad. Yeah. Oh, 
the most idyllic looking pub. Lovely, lovely staff. And the food was beep. Disgusting. Oh. It's like the thing that I always say. Why give a menu this huge when you can't cook any of the things? Just have a menu this big, have fish and chips, have a burger, have a ploughman's, have a shepherd's pie, or whatever, and do it brilliantly. How much was that? Less than yesterday. <laughs> It was inedible. The kids left it and the kids wouldn't yeah, let that's me that's weird. say. The it was so disgusting they couldn't eat it. So we just had to pay for Let's it. Let's go to church. I'm not saying Let's go to a local church. Beautiful. So, Mum. Mum, why have you got masks on? Oh, yeah. What's it like being out and about, Mum? It's nice. It's all fun Stanton. Where, where are we? Where is this place? The old, it's in... the old bakery. I, I still look yellow. Maybe that's your donut, the old bakery. Oh, the old bakery? Where? <laughs> oh, yeah, over there. Just as a heads up, I'm very achy. And my buttocks are really achy. Oh, and my good. feet are really achy. Oh, and so yeah. I don't entirely feel perfect, but oh. I managed to squeeze in some buttermilk chicken. Chicken was nice, it was yours. Yeah, it was alright. Wish there was more of it though. I know, churches with no spires. Just Weird, doesn't it? Around. Weird, doesn't it? So weird. Everything looks truncated. It's so sweet to when you work well. I said to the kids, um, well, listen, we could go for a bit of a walk along the beach and we could go to the lighthouse because there's a cafe over the sea yeah. there. And Daddy went, that doesn't seem fair without Daddy. Mm -hmm. And Patrick went, especially to a lighthouse. It <laughs> was so sweet. Oh. Speed it up, Mum. I'm going to speed it up, Mum. Kind of is. So we've just come to a very tranquil, peaceful um, graveyard and we just saw a fallow deer head off that way and we saw a hare head off that way. It's like a scene from um, Alice, Alice in Wonderland. It's very peaceful and Maddie feels, Maddie feels the descriptions on every gravestone tombstone incredibly personally it's the empath she really feels them she's like oohing and ahhing about everyone so sweet mum you missed a hair i know a hair and a deer oh, if you could move your little legs faster mum i said that when we were coming that now's the time look out for hairs, hairs yeah <laughs> if you're lucky you can see them boxing you know? really have you ever seen that yeah many times around liz though no? Round Liz's parents. I was going to say, not, not Old Street. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you could see the boxing round Old yeah, Street. Right, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I can speed it up. So you've just been in your happy place, haven't you? Well, I mean, I Tell do people like, what's your happy place. I do like a graveyard. I just think of all the countless people's yeah. lives and what... I mean, it's interesting. Maddie just did the thing she's done right from a child. Yeah. Every graveyard. She she's she's personalising all of yeah. them. She imagines, she thinks of their relationships. <laughs> Speeded it up, Mum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Speed it up. I do, I find them really contemplative places. I love going in churches too, but this yeah, is closed. Yeah, you're not allowed so, in from COVID again. But there's a really nice church near the beach we're going to tomorrow. Can you we ask me why you wouldn't be able to go in the church because of COVID? Um, just because there's no one there to monitor social distancing, I don't know. Well, mind you, this is just because it's late. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't worry, Mum will speed it up. <laughs> Have dinner and you go out for a walk. 
with your dogs. With dogs. Toffee! Toffee! So Patrick has thrown a stone into the sea and now Toffee is hermetically connected to it and will not, not get out of the sea. So Toffee! Come on! She keeps going back. She's such a water dog, isn't she? Such a water dog. Anyway, we're going up to quote Patrick to look at the iron deposits. Oh, he was as excited as me. He's deep for that one. Yeah, we're going to go and look at these iron, and they are quite astonishing iron deposits. Have you ever seen any like that? <laughs> I haven't. We're so going to die. We're so going to die. Oh, Kiki, once again, we're so going to die. So here you go. That's iron, guys, from the Iron Age. I remember as a child walking around Hingersbury Head and there used to be red water everywhere. I did about it and of course discovered it was iron. Iron. Doesn't it? It looks much bigger from a fuss. It looks so small and diddy. Delicious. So I'm making a Looking forward to that. Does anyone else get really sort of pernickety about sand, sand, grains of sand in your toes? I do. Oh, you know what I'm going to do today? Take the talcum powder because that's the best oh, way. Oh, is that a solution? Yeah, you put talcum powder on it. Brushes oh, on that's brilliant. Away. I've always wondered what the solution is. With me today. I, I feel like I'm a, a I feel like a snotty little toddler because every time I get out my side of the bed there's just loads of sand on the floor like I've literally just dropped my swimming trunks at the side of the bed that's what I am just a great big toddler let's see if we can find any time hi guys going this way what are you up to mum How art thou? How art thou? I think I'm back. Are you back? I had a night of shivering and frothing and gibbering and cold and hot and heat. You didn't? I did, I had a terrible night. Last night? Yes, last night I had a fever. Fever! Well, what do you think it is? is it I, think it's the, I think it's the after tremors, Mum. The think? oyster poisoning, yeah. I did, no, I felt genuinely, I felt shivery, I felt hot, I felt cold, I was in, I was out, I slept. Fitfully, I don't know. Maybe it's the England Germany match is getting to me. Um, how did you sleep, Mum? I, I had my best sleep. Oh, good. <laughs> no, that is good because you never have a good sleep. Yeah, so you're coming with us, yeah? Yeah. Where are we going? We're going to a beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, to be in this room, Mum, you may as well be in East London. No, no, no. It's pointless. It's pointless. I it's mean, not pointless. it is pointless. Why come away just to sit in a white room? Padding between your room and the fridge for yogurts. I mean, you do that in London. I mean, you know, <laughs> let's do something it. different. So anyway, we'll go. We're going to go to Holcombe Beach, near to Holcombe Hall, yeah. and you can park near Holcombe Beach, and you can potentially either walk to the little shop that has lots of lovely things, and back to the car whilst we do a maybe a, a big oh, walk okay. around the corner. No, cool. Take your binoculars though, because I, I think there's going to be some waders. I think so, and some gifts. What are the little, what are little blue ones called? Browns. What do you call those funny little brown sparrows? BLJs. 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 Anyway, Ma, it's good to see you. It's nice, it's nice of you to come. <laughs> Shut up. You I'm pleased you're here. You you're bringing a much needed, I don't know, sort of lack of... Well, no, you're sort of bringing an, an unpredictability to things, Mum. Well, what I'm actually bringing is a load of pencils. You True, you've brought pencils little. which have gone down an absolute storm. They have. You've also brought a really weird book, which you've talked about in the Sunday show. Oh yeah. Um, 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 what are you looking forward to the football? Yes. Are you really? Oh God, yes. 
I just feel like you're being disingenuous. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. No one wants to watch the football with me. I thought in your transformation and transmogrification and metamorphosis into Nan, Nanny Thelma, yeah. you'd be very excited about the football. She never liked football, did she? One day you might contact me and say, Mark, England have won the Ashes, then I know the transformation no, is I, complete. I was very interested that they're suddenly playing cricket overnight, practically, at Lord's. At, at you want, you're turning into Nanny Thelma. Does this mean that when you've shuffled your mortal coil, yeah. I'm going to be doing the same thing, phoning up someone saying, we've won the Ashes? <laughs> And then eating a tub of Nutella. Oh, I do that anyway. Oh. We have our very own pret a manger We do, but each person's got their name on it because all your little foibles and your little preferences. Preferences. This is yours. Have you written it on the actual paint? Oh, no, on the bread. That's your Oh, look, there's one. Nanny Di. Show us, Mum. Living wildly. Still living wildly. She's done nothing but since she's been in. Come on, Mum. Go mad. It's the end of the day. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, sweetie. Thing is, that tap gives you boiling hot water straight into the cup. So what's the plan? So the plan, man, Stan, is we're going to go to the beach. We're going to have a sandwich. <laughs> we're going to have a walk. And then we've got to get back for five o'clock for the we've football. Got to get back for the footy. Is anyone else excited about the football? Yeah. Yeah, Maddie. <laughs> well done, Maddie. Well done, Mad. <laughs> It's an opportunity to shout like men's men from Weatherspoons. It's an opportunity to urinate on the floor, because that's what they do in the toilets. They do, they do. But we don't need to hear this. What's wrong Toppy, with you? Toppy, are you excited about the football? Yeah. Are you? Come on in, England, 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 England. England, look at England, England. 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 <laughs> you're, excited, you're not excited at all. You don't tell me you're German. Are you German? Aren't poodles German? Sausages. I can't, I can, she's inscrutable today. I can't tell who she's rooting for. That's how I love you. No, no, no. She's actually saying, can you believe that France were knocked out last night? Oh, show, show us. Oh, mum. Oh. Where have you been shopping? <laughs> it's called... TK Maxx. What's that? New, that look? Look. New look, thank you, my dear. That's not like you. Russell Square. You know, where the Bloomsbury is? Yeah. I came out and I thought, go and buy yourself a t-shirt. You just went rogue. I, I just ran in and bought a t-shirt. Two t-shirts, in fact, for £16. Good God. I know. It's, I've never known you do that. I've run out of t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good enough reason. Mum, yeah, yeah. may I recommend that you make use of the walking stick in the back of the car? Yes, please. Yes, it's there. Thank you so much. For the taking. Thank you very much, Mum. It might... When we get to that walk. Yeah, it might transform your entire working experience. I think it might do, Mum. Yeah. Can you little oyster flashbacks? Little oyster flashbacks. <laughs> Well, you don't have to drive us all the way. No, I want to take them out for the day. And there's deer here. We came here a couple of years ago, and it's, it's all just so manicured and beautifully kept. Oh, there they are. There's the deer over there. Oh, we love you see deer. The little bottoms. Can you see them, Pooh? Oh, look over there, over there, over there. We are actually at this very moment in the middle of a major emergency. It's practically oh, a disaster. Right. We were on the way to the beach. We were nearly there, and then we discovered we didn't have crisps. We're going to be steered right to park. Do we want to park here? No. Let's I ask if they've too, got crisps. Too here, yeah. <laughs> Let's ask if they've got a cafe, and if they have, we'll park up, we'll get our crisps, we'll get a coffee. Yeah. Oh, look, we could go on there, yeah, look. We look, we could go on there. Thank you. Oh, emergency averted. We found a cafe. 
Why are they coming from, up here? He's from Norfolk. Oh. Because he just told me to. Oh. Did you not listen to him? No, no, I was talking to I'm the about to run about over crisps. two children. Yeah. So we found somewhere to have crisps, so we may well have our picnic here rather than with sand. Eat our picnic and then go nice. for a walk on the beach. Yeah, yeah it might be quite nice. Let's do it that way. Right? We're going to do it that way, right? But, that but, one. you could then be trapped by a rising tide. <gasps> not here. Oh! No, not here, Mom. <laughs> I was going to say, that's taking tide fear too far. That's taking tide fear too far. <laughs> I like that, Mom. What happened, Mom? What is that? I put my waist on it and it just went down to yeah, the Yeah, I think you have to, I think they might. What? You turn that one, that bit around. It's like a tripod. What is it about this holiday that all doors and things... Not, you've got to turn the whole... Oh, you've got to turn the whole thing oh. around, yeah. There you go, try that one. Is that good size? <laughs> oh, look, there's no stopping up. <laughs> oh, what's it like, Mum? Yeah. Yeah, do you want it a bit bigger? Do you want it a bit bigger? No, 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 no bigger. Sure, because you can hold it. Okay. Mum, you're like Gandalf. I'm trying to bring it back down to... Doesn't it? Look at it. <laughs> look. <laughs> when you start to go really fast, Mum, when you're walking with us, when you start to go really fast, you start to do this, <laughs> and you'll find you, you go really fast downhill, Mum. Come no further! Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. Didn't even know you knew. You sounded like Gandalf, Mum. I always wanted Gandalf with me, Mum. Uh, oh my God. Mum, you've transferred from Gollum to Gandalf. Look at you. Does it feel easier? Do you feel less? Do you feel less <laughs> uncertain? No, no, do you feel less uncertain? <laughs> no, you do actually, because the ground's uneven ground. Yeah, not really, isn't it, though, Mum? Is ah. it too long now? <laughs> it's just like oh, the flipping heck! Okay. You're suddenly because you've got a stick. You're now observing the natural world. Deer poo. There's lots of deer poo around. Deer poo around. You're sort of like you become like the landed gentry. <laughs> you've become like Giles. Giles the gardener. Yes. Let me shorten it oh, for you, Mum. No, this is a real test here. It is. Yeah. Let's see how you get on. Well, you need to pick it up, Mum. You're just dragging it. <laughs> oh, no. You see, I'm too frightened to bend down. No, you it put it in front of you. Put it in front of you, Mum. Oh, my gosh. Look, there's no stopping her. No stopping me. Don't stop me no. now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Look at you, Mum. I can't speed you up anymore. I'm going to have to slow you down. Let me come over here and I'll do slow-mo. <laughs> Go. an absolute first. I never thought I'd say to my mum, we'll have to slow you down. <laughs> We're at Holcomb Hall. I know, I really like it here. It's, it's nice, good. isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really sedate. So I wonder if we're chasing rainbows by now, trying to go to the beach. Well, I don't know. We'll Do you see. know why? Because Maddie You have to walk I, through the wood. Maddie and I were just remembering there's a lot more from the wood to the sea. Funny if you get to the end, Mum, and like your stick, like a kebab, you've got deer shit all the way up it. <laughs> <laughs> a kebab skewer of oh. deer shit. So we all shocked ourselves because we sat at a picnic table, ate a pre-prepared picnic, packed lunch even, uh, and were vaguely civilised in the grounds of a country estate uh, house. So. We don't know what's happened to us. We've become extraordinarily conventional. Uh, and it's about time, probably, we did that. What can you see, Ma? Yeah. Hold oh, on. dear. Hold on one second. This is not fucking work. Mum, you're looking up. Shut up. Huh? Why isn't that working? <laughs> oh, OK. Deer over there, you might not be Oh, oh come on. <laughs> How can I look petrified? Yeah, I look petrified. <laughs> you can't see my I've got it. Huh? 
About bloody time. <laughs> oh! He's got spots and a little white bottom. What's the deer got? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Thank you.